I'd like to welcome Ken Chen with us to talk more about building real-time apps with WebSockets and Azure Web PubSub. Hey, Ken, thanks for joining us. Hey, Zena. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, it's really good to be here to show some of the lab demos. Cool. Um, so can you tell us what's new in Azure land for web developers? Yeah, so this time I have some yeah, exciting news for web de developers. So we just released a new service called Azure Web Pub Sub Service, so which can help the developers to easily uh, add real-time messaging features to web applications. So yeah, there is a common yeah, scenario in web application is that you want you may want to uh, your your client apps to receive uh, messages in real time. So mm -hmm. so the message could be, for example, like some system notification generated service server side, or it could be also be something like a chat message from another a client device. So as you can see, yeah, in this diagram, so with the with the new Azure Web Hub Azure Web sub service, you can connect your clients. Uh, with uh, to the service, uh, so you can easily get real time updates uh, from from the service. So we actually support a, a, a variety of clients. So you can see, uh, for example, like web, uh, like uh, mobile devices or like uh, web pages running in the uh, browsers, or even like other other devices like gaming console. So the communication between the clients and the service is actually through a WebSocket technology. So which is pretty pretty common. Uh, as long so as long as your client supports uh, web sockets, you can you can use the service. So uh, yeah, actually traditionally you may you may uh, be able to achieve this by using other technologies like like pooling or mm -hmm. uh, running a self-hosted web socket server. But this is usually challenging. So especially you are, you have a, a lot of uh, clients. So with every web, web pop up, you don't need to handle those uh, complexities. Okay, cool. That's yeah. a really good explanation, right? So uh, I know over the quarantine, a lot of people try to do a lot of personal projects, build like web clients um, or you know websites that needed real time notifications, real time messages. Um, so they might have used polling, but that's a good explanation of like why polling might have delays, or if you have lots of clients, you might want to use WebSockets. Um, so can you give us a demo of the Azure Web Pub Sub that you're talking about? Yeah, sure. Yeah, so I can I can quickly share a demo, of so you can see how you can easily use the, this new service to publish and subscribe uh, messages uh, between uh, your your client apps. So here we have uh, two uh, Node Node.js uh, console applications. So one is act as the publisher and one is acting as a subscriber. So you can see in the publisher side we actually use the, just use the uh, web socket. You can see this should be the this is the something you may be familiar with is the WebSocket API. So you can just create a WebSocket connection to the service. And whenever the connection is open, you just, uh, so in, in this demo, we just simply read anything from the standard input to uh, and send it to the to the service to a, to a group called, called stream here, you can see. Uh, and uh, at, the, at the subscriber side, you can you can, you can can also see we, we also use the WebSocket API to create a connection to the service. And whenever the connection is open, we just send a message, send a uh, join, the, join this stream, stream group by sending a join, join group message and then uh, whenever you, you can you can you will, you will start to receive messages in from this group. So whenever you, there is a new message, we just simply hook up with this event handler and print anything you you you, you get from the service to the, to the console. So basically, so that, then I will I will quickly run the demo. So I, let me first run the the subscriber part. So after it's connected, so I can run the publisher. So whenever I tap anything, you you can see this being sent uh, to the to the subscriber side uh, in real time. For example, I can say. Welcome to build. So you can see this is uh, yeah stream to to the subscriber side subscriber side in real time, and I, I can also like send for example like send a large uh, content. So you can see this how real time it is. It's it's, it's actually uh, streamed to the to the other side in real time. For example, uh, this command it actually reads all the list all the files in the, under this directory and send them one by one to the to the to the other side. So I can if I click enter, so then I you can see. Yeah, the file being listed in the in one directory, and you can see this is uh, uh, showing up in the on the other side in real time. Yeah, that's pretty much about about this live demo. Okay, that's awesome. That's a really great demo. I think that really drives home the point of real time client server interactions, right? So you have one thing that's publishing, one thing that's subscribing in real time. Um, that's a really great example. Uh, what if my app, like, what if the server of uh, a uh, portion of my app is actually running in a function. I'm running a serverless scenario. Can I take advantage of this web pub sub? Yeah, of course. So actually, this is uh, one of the main scenarios for every web pub sub. So, so I, I think you can imagine, you know, traditionally, 
uh, error function that does not really support WebSocket. You cannot basically cannot serve a, a long connection in a in a function run, a function call. So, but with the with this service, you can actually your clients can connect to the uh, to to the service, and you can and your error functions you can use our APIs to send message to clients. And we are uh, we also uh, provide a function extension, so you can uh, create a, a web pop sub trigger. So there's a trigger for for web pop sub, and you can also send messages in the output binding. So pretty pretty handy. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. So now another question: What if my what if my app or my website goes viral, right? I'm getting tons of messages, getting tons of clients connecting to my servers. Um, what's the scalability of Azure Web Hub Sub? Yeah, so so handle a large scale of WebSocket connection is usually a very challenging task. So you need to you need to consider the things like the, how to do load balancing or like how to synchronize data between you have if you have multiple servers. So but with Azure Web Hub Sub, you can you just you don't need to yeah deal with all these complexities. So just need to run a scale command whenever you are like running out of connections, and you, and the service will handle that for you. And it will actually support up to like one hundred thousand connections for a single instance. So which should be should be pretty yeah uh, sufficient for for most of cases. Okay, that's really awesome to hear. So you say it can support up to like a hundred thousand kind of messages. Um, what's the cost of this? Uh, yeah, so so we are currently in public preview. So you can so actually we we, we actually have uh, have a free free uh, instance that you can try. You can try. So you can you can go to the Air Portal and create a free instance to try out our service. We also have a live demo, so you don't need to, need to even write a single line of code to try the service. For the for the paid tier, we actually uh, it's uh, it's actually starting from like fifty dollars a month, and you can scale up to like any. Uh, any 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 uh, number of connections you need. So the more connection you use, you pay for more. But okay. it's starting from like fifty fifty dollars uh, a month. So you can also yeah by using the service, you can you can, you can uh, get all the benefits as uh, like net security or high availability or scalability. Yeah. So feel free to try it. Yeah, and let, let us know the people. Great. Yeah. So it's awesome to hear there's a free trial. If people want to learn more, can they go somewhere? Yeah, sure. Yeah, so we have uh, actually have a uh, documentations and uh, and code samples or in the uh, docs or Microsoft.com. So you can yeah feel free to check it out. Awesome. Feel free to try out the free trial and go to docs to learn more about how to use Azure Web Pub Sub. Thank you so much for joining us, Ken. Thank you, Sana.